But guess what? Iowa, North Carolina, and others who collapse. So they fought, they bled over there to create the United States of America. Free 25 billion people and 19 trillion dollar GDP. So what we're saying is, there's no such thing as a free lunch. If you want the United States of Africa, you can't have your cake and eat it. You've got to give up on national sovereignty. You've got to give up on your little president in Zimbabwe, little president in Malawi, and gather and pull your sovereignty together. The Chinese fought to create China. They're still fighting to get Taiwan in. They got Hong Kong. The Indians, the same. So there's a history of creating this federation or unitary state. What are the benefits? Can you imagine if we were to work together, our diamonds and gold and platinum under one command? And guess what? You see, the ever closer African Union allows fragmented states, allows non-viable states, and allows the Chinese, the Indians, and the Americans to come and negotiate with Botswana, negotiate with Nigeria, negotiate with Zimbabwe. We get short changes as Africans. Can you imagine if I was to walk up and say, here I come, I'm the African. I speak on behalf of 1.2 million people, I, billion people. I speak with a GDP of $2.3 trillion behind me. If I did that, I'll be able to get better deals than we get currently under this arrangement. An over-closed African Union will not deliver what we want. We want the United States of Africa. Yes, there are problems, four time zones, languages, and so on. Yes, it is difficult, but let's go to Kennedy and Mandela. Kennedy says, because it's difficult, we must do it. Not because it is easy, but because it's difficult. Mandela says, it always looks impossible unless, until it is done. Yes, the United States of Africa is a difficult proposition, but it won't be delivered by the, by the African Union. But remember, once upon a time, slavery was impossible, insurmountable. Once upon a time, colonialism was impossible. Once upon a time, apartheid could not be resolved. But we are saying now, if we work together as Africans and abandon the project of the Af ever closed African Union and embrace the United States of Africa, Man Mr. President say, what you are giving us here is a dummy, it's half a loaf. We must reject half a loaf of an ever-closed African Union and say, we don't want that. We want the United States of Africa, which cannot be delivered by the African Union even if it gets closer and closer. For these reasons, I am saying we must not embrace an ever-closer African Union because sometimes the enemy of the best is the good. Sometimes the enemy of the great is the good. It's a good idea, but not good enough. We must reject it.